when people think of Austin, they automatically associate Austin as this kind of cool, funky, weird, um, you know, city. It's a university town. And I think we feel a little bit less restrained, you know, operating in Austin. Um, we know that people are pretty open, accepting the new, new flavors, trying new things. So I think from that sense, Austin's kind of influenced us uh, in terms of our ability to take risks. Um, I mean, it starts with our name, Peach Tortilla, which is a little bit outside the box, and that kind of runs its course throughout our menu. Um, and just having a wide array of, of menu items at the restaurant. Now the Austin food scene is significantly more diverse than when I came to Austin in 2010. You know, eight years ago, if you wanted really good Asian food or good Italian food, I'm not really sure where you would have gone to look for that. You know, I think we had good Tex-Mex and hamburgers and pizza. Um, so it's certainly more diverse now. Are we on the same level as LA or New York? I would say absolutely not. I would say that would be a ridiculous expectation of an up-and-coming growing town. So when we opened Contigo uh, seven years ago, a little over seven years ago, uh, it was easy to find people. It was easy to find labor, good people. Uh, you know, we're not we're not looking for PhDs. We're looking for people that have a desire to succeed. And what we're doing here and at most of the restaurants in town, we're able to we're able to teach those people the things they need to know. Uh, it's the unteachables that that are hard to find these days. The industry and the city are growing so quickly that. Uh, the labor pool has just been diluted by a lot. So the food scene in Austin is, uh, I feel like it's at a, a fairly vulnerable position right now. Uh, there's so many restaurants opening, so many restaurants closing. Uh, all, uh, as a new restaurant, the, the runway that you've got to, to really present yourself to the community is has shortened so much because of those other places opening right behind you, right on your heels. The food scene, I mean, Austin has is, is got so much going on. I mean, I'm very grateful that we're still at the top of our game. We still have big crowds, and they always mention the spoke of places to come, whether it be the Uber cab driver or the regular yellow cab drivers, every hotel in town, they'll tell people, you gotta go to the Broken Spoke, because I can't afford to advertise like McDonald's, and all these places, but when they come here, this is about the only true Austin thing place left. And then there was a lot of places similar to the spoke, but then they've all gone, and I'm still here because I ain't changing nothing. <laughs> you know, I don't believe in changing anything. And that's what I say in my speech when I address the people on the bandstand. And um, I always tell them, we ain't getting no hanging fern baskets, we ain't getting no pier water. <laughs> And when you go up front all your hamburger and don't ask for the great poupon, you're getting the real mustard out here. But we do have cold beer, good whiskey, good and girls to dance with, and we ain't changing nothing, so what else do you need? <laughs> I mean, Austin is just growing by leaps and bounds, and some people can say that's a blessing and a curse. So I think it really, when you break it down, Joe's Bakery in itself here in Austin, it has just really been um, our mission to really stay true to what we do well, what makes us different from other restaurants, what can you what can you not get anywhere else that you can only get here. So, there's so many new restaurants going up, but unfortunately, so many of our old restaurants, our old neighbors are closing, and that's kind of one of the uh, the disappointing things is with all the growth in Austin and with all the new opportunities. It's sad to see that a lot of the businesses that have been here from the beginning in the 40s and 50s and 60s haven't been able to sustain themselves and it really makes you wonder why. Why are older businesses not able to sustain themselves and these new businesses are popping up left and right? Yeah, I think people coming, people are moving here from California and big cities and you know, they're used to eating, uh, eating out as part of their culture, uh, their, their life, you know, and uh, they, they want it, they kind of want more than just Tex-Mex even though I think they, they appreciate it. Um, uh, you know, it's, they're, they're used to, to eating out every night and, and so we, we have to have a, a good variety of options for them. And the food is attracting people to Austin now. It's also, uh, there's a trend of, of sourcing locally that's, that's 
happening that I think is extremely important for the sustainability of our of our industry um, for more restaurants and chefs to pay more attention to where their food comes from and try to support the local small farmers um, and you're seeing a lot of restaurants and chefs do that in Austin right now and it's really cool to be a part of that. I think the food scene uh, has definitely changed here in Austin. Um, Austin's growing tremendously and at a very fast pace. I think before uh, there was a lot of, you know, small mom and pop restaurants, you know, and I feel like now it's like very, a lot more organized, you know, um, businesses, you know, as far as uh, um, hospitality groups coming in and, you know, doing these immaculate restaurants that are beautiful, you know, but um, I think that has changed a lot here because there, there was very few places that were like that here before when growing up here in Austin. Uh, we've kept it true by just, you know, offering, you know, the same plate of enchiladas that you're going to get 15, 20 years ago, you know, and that same old, old Austin feel, you know. It used to be easy to find a job and your service staff was usually students. Nowadays it's a profession and they make a good living doing it and they have a good quality of life. The other thing is there's a lot of talent moving into town when it comes to chefs coming in, chefs cutting their teeth here and then, and then staying here, which is good for the restaurant scene. The population of Austin in the last 35 years has more than doubled. Uh, the restaurant scene has more than tripled. The restaurant um, workforce is more than tripled and it's having a hard time keeping up with the pace of restaurants coming in and going out. Any given corner in the city of Austin are four or five great places to eat and, uh, and it's just one of those scenes where people want to work here, cut their teeth here and then end up staying here.